Hi everyone, welcome back to Amnesia, Lifeless, The Abandon, Part 6. So, um, last time we were doing things in the sewer, and, uh, now we're still doing things in the sewer. And by doing things, I mean climbing our way to, uh, freedom, assuming. Although, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a, there's a trick here. It's, it's, it's not all that seems, as I'm assuming I'm supposed to stack to get up this ladder, but there... There's a bunch of other rooms to go in, which I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go into. And oh, here's here's the room from the screenshot. I remember this. Anyway, hey, do I read this? I've been having too many people in my castle. Six cooks, three servants, four builders, and one mad. I don't know what a mad is, but I wouldn't trust mad people if I were you, especially cannibals. But there is one particular cannibal man that lives below this castle in the depths of the dungeons. Beware, don't go down to the dungeons. I wouldn't go down myself. I didn't want a dungeon in my castle, but lots of my people died and had to be fed to the cannibal. That disgusting brute. Okay, well then, um... No comment, um, regarding that... That circumstance of happening. So let's, let's move on and... And go down to the dungeons and face this cannibal. Oh, you don't say. It's weak and it looks like it's about to conna uh, collapse. Can't use that in that way. Oh, I, I guess I have just to straight up throw something at it. I mean, screw hitting it with a hammer. Alright. Yeah. Okay, that did things. Can I... Can I... Alright, well, sure. Let's just lightly tap it with the end of our box and... Have it come up in a flurry of of, of wood shards and, and dust and, and magical glowing powder. Okay, is this what the ladder parts are for? So I don't actually stack to get up there. Combine these two, or or do I, do I just like straight up add these, or put them right there? Okay, get that thing out of the way. It's useless here. Get the first ladder piece. Why I can't use it there? What? Why? Why? It said I could use it there before. Oh, okay. Okay, I have to do it. Do it like that. Can't start from the ground up. Have to do it this way. Oh well. Go into the mystic light from beyond the beyond. I'm still kind of confused of how that sun. How? Besides the, the rock being in my face and all that, which should have killed me, but two hours later, I'm still alive. I'm so confused at how there's sunlight outside after I just came in from outside and- Oh, hello. Are you here to tell me all the answers to my questions? I mean, it was clearly not outside and all that, but... Okay. Sounds are happening. Hmm. Though I've been caught by the cannibal. Is he going to, um... Is he going to, like, you know, shove an apple in my mouth, put me on a platter, and... And covered me in salt. Oh, we're back in the same old cell. All over again. Is that a hole in the wall or is that. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, that's a hole in the wall. I was thinking there was a hole in the wall over there, but. Back here. Yeah, because why not? And here's our shackle puppet pals. Pa shackle puppet pals, what do you have to say about this? I wish you didn't have to come back and we were enjoying your absence. Well, why do you have to be such assholes? Don't mind him. He was like on a buttload of Viagra last night. Now he feels sick. Oh. Why, why was he using that stuff? Because he has a really small penis. Uh, why Why didn't you know that? Because shackles don't have penises at all. We don't? No. No, you're a, sh you're a shackle. No, no. Only like living beings have sex organs. Oh, well, there's like practically every inanimate object in here has a penis. I don't know what you're talking about. Sh uh, shackle, what, what's your name, Shackle? My name's uh, Robert. Robert. I think, I think you need to get your... Um, Whatever it is that you use to see with checked, there's there's nothing in here that has a penis except for me. You have a penis too? I thought only inanimate objects had penises. You two are you two are both screwed up. I'm getting out of here. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this cell before these two creepy ass shackle puppets start doing things to my brain. This whole wooden beam looks like it's about to collapse. Everything in here looks like it's about to collapse, including society and government and all that. But we're mainly concerned with this, this wooden beam. Are we trying to keep it sturdy, or are we trying to break it? I have a feeling we're trying to break it. Okay. Chair, do your thing. 
Okay. Oh, I've I have nothing left. They took everything from me. Except for like a buttload of tinder boxes. Okay, what do I do now? Move this out of the way. And there's this there's this thing down here, that's where I got the shiv from. I like how we're returning to areas we've been to before. It's pretty cool. Oh, and now they finally put a padlock on that. Good, they got they got a tad bit smarter. I understand having inmates in a prison cell for the first time can be a challenging experience, but they'll the prison guards will learn the more they, you know, do things. <laughs> Am I supposed to grab it or something like that? That's what she said. Am I really just supposed to reach through there and grab it? It doesn't it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Is there anything I, uh, small I can stick in there? That's what she said. Um, huh. Um, this apple right here. Uh, can I throw that through there? Okay, so a squishy apple was able to like do that. That makes sense. Not my hammer. Not even not not that chair, but the. the a little apple can do that. Okay, I'm beginning to think these these whatever it is, whatever that was, wasn't exactly the kind of the kind of fruit they use for putting flavor in Kool Aid. Although they've never made apple flavored Kool Aid. <gasps> the conspiracy continues. So shackle puppets, what do you think about this? I think you're a weirdo. Well, thanks for being up straight with me like that. I like you. You're good. What about you? Are you, are you going to tell me the truth as, as that guy did? No, I'm going to lie to you and say you're the best person ever and possibly the best commentator on YouTube. I love you. I want to see what you shirt off. Okay. Getting things a little bit up weird in here. The, the only weird thing about that statement being that I'm the best commentator on YouTube. That's that's completely, entirely not true and just weird. Whatever whatever else you said was, was not that weird. Okay, um... Uh, open this door. Okay. We're in new places now. And opening things up and... No, we're not in new places. This is the same old place. Except it looks different. I don't think I've been through this door before. It was locked the last time we were here. New horizons, here we come. New unlocked horizons, by the way. Oh, no, we've been through here. I remember here. Here was full of nice memories. I see what you did there. Can't snap right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna try. Here, can't really snap right now. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with my fingers. Can't do shit right now. I've been here before. Um, I've been here before. Okay. Yeah, was there a little um hole in the wall I was supposed to go through? Am I gonna have to go through this whole cycle all over again? Was that? Was that the place I was? And I'm finally going into a dark place where I could use a lantern, but I don't have a lantern. So therefore, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just going to be dark like this. Getting somehow brighter? Oh, that's because it's transitioning, alright. Oh. Oh. Is it gonna load anytime soon? Oh god, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Things happened. Oh, okay, so I was just I was just staring into darkness, alright. That was the problem. Okay. I hear strange noises, and I found a torch. Is this one of those grab em up torches? Yep. Uh, now I can't grab anything else while I'm holding this torch, but whatever. Didn't really need to use the lantern anyway. Alright, making my way through this cave. This is nice atmosphere, except for, you know, the random ass baby screaming noises. Um, mementos, what did I just now write myself? Nope, just nope, this is not what I asked for. Did you ask for anything to begin with? I don't remember him asking any questions. 
I'm pretty sure he asked something, but it wasn't it wasn't really relevant to this or whatever. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me, guys. Just play the game and pretend I'm not. There's not an audio track and and video track of me up in the corner talking crap. Just pretend that. It'd probably be easier if we went to a no commentary video. But I'm gonna be a douche like this and and just be have my presence here, playing this game. Another note. Blood and bones, blood and tongues, blood and legs. Hmm, I'm, I'm beginning to sense the recurrence of blood in all of this. Is the tune I sing when I'm cooking my favorite dish. Okay, human flesh, don't be afraid, it will make it much more worse for you and I. I was born cannibalism, it's who I am and will be. Sam Bruton. Bruton. Sam Bruton. Okay, do I need this? Do I even need this torch anymore? I think these are some custom walls right here, or custom MAT files that they use for the walls. Don't exactly tile that well now, do they? Nope. Not well. Uh, but regardless, there's some skeletons over here. Is this where the new monsters come supposed to come in? Because suddenly the the atmosphere seemed to get a lot scarier all of a sudden and a lot dimmer and darker and. Well then, glowing blue area around this this dude's stomach. Am I supposed to touch it? Seems the shape of a key inside this corpse's body. Okay, it's all saw up in this up in this joint. Um. Anyway, so do I have, do I have to get saw to get him out? Right, as as this is, was a trick taken from the uh, really gory horror movie franchise that I have never seen, but I have the the general gist of it is is people kill each other to get out of some place that's that's all I know so yeah if you, if you haven't seen the movies don't don't feel bad it's I haven't seen them either and I'm pretty sure you're not really missing out on anything they're all pretty much the exact same as far as I've heard um come on torch we're gonna go search for souls and cannibals how about I light that right there that'd be fun if I did can I actually light no no I can't do that all right moving forward and picking up another torch. Or the same torch. Running out of things to say. How about I go here first? Just commentarying, you know, narrating everything as I do as I as I do it. I like all the fl I like all the details here. Seems to be a lot more. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I know that's an arm. That's clearly a leg, but that is that Is that like a human body part? I, I somehow I don't want to know what that is, so I'm just gonna move on. Uh, more human body parts. They look like, like ears, like really long rabbit ears. But it's cannibalism, so it can't be rabbit ears. Unless we've got like some man bunnies around here, which would be even more terrifying and make it make for a good plot twist. Weird one, but a good one. An unexpected one, which is the best kind of plot twist. Anyway, so, is there going to be a cannibal coming out of nowhere anytime soon? Have it open this door first. Oh, well. Oh, red glow in here. A piece of paper. Oh my god, they are just so tasty. My prisoners. That's what I'm talking about. I can't stop consuming on them. They are so tasty and fresh. I remember one man being in a cell. He was a very delinquent man, which was so nervous. I asked him that everything is going to be all right, until I dragged him to my kitchen and boiled him alive, while he was far asleep. That way he won't feel a thing. You, you weren't actually talking about like legitimate sleep, right? Because I'm pretty sure he'd wake up somewhere between being put in a pot and having an oven turned on to 350 degrees. But, uh, whatever, whatever. People are this way that they are. They're different people, they're not me. I can't I can't judge them for being different. And that's locked. Do I have anything? Oh yeah, I had everything taken from me. Everything about my life and, 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 and memories stripped from my existence. Long ago, so let's just move on into here. I wish I didn't have to... They need to change this so we don't have to like, keep picking it up and putting it down. Like, they seriously just need to replace the lantern with a with the torch instead of like making it a, a pickup object. It's kind of annoying somewhat. And is, how is this room relevant? Oh, new custom drawer. Is that from Amnesia Machine for Pigs? I don't know. 
And we got our friend Shackle Puppet over here. Just kind of floating there. Oh, nope, never mind. I don't think I can pick him up, though. You, here, now. Uh, uh. How is this room relevant at all? Um. Okay. Oh, is that the way I came, or is... I'm already lost. Uh, what do I do? I, I, I can't go in there. That's locked. Gotta take this. Gotta take it down the stairs. Oh, good. There's paper here. Telling me why this door must be locked, right? It is... Locked. Okay. I was moving around for some reason. I've hidden the key. My prisoners keep getting out of the prison from this room. I mean, I don't know that how that's even possible. That's why I hid the key somewhere where nobody will ever find it. In the corpse's body. Well, I just found the key. It, 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 oh. So, okay, you know what, never mind. Um, so the key is in the corpse's body, of course, as we already knew. Okay, so, um, we already checked all the rooms. Good, good. We're, we're staying on top of things. Um, yeah, we checked that room. Did we check this room? Yeah, that was locked, I believe. Yep, can't push or pull. That was locked. Still can't find a saw, though. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen one anywhere. Is this is this how it's meant to be? Am I supposed to go on like this? Um, of course that's locked. Okay, ah, uh, this is my life now: picking up and putting down torches. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a door back here that I missed. Wasn't there? Yeah, no, there was that one right there. Okay, I remember here. Is this the freezer? Yes, this looks like a freezer. Hello, Agrippa. You have a thing stuck in your mouth. Okay, let, stay right there. Um. Oh, okay, there's a saw right there. Said saw was, you know, just waiting for me right there. So let me go get that key from the dude's body. Um, it was this way, right? This way? Okay. Already getting kind of lost. And, uh, go ahead and stick that saw right up in there. Oh my god. It's all scary like and crap. Okay, so I now have the key. Where, oh, I don't have the key. Alright. Where's... Oh, the key's on his arm. Okay. I... Okay, never mind. I'm not, I'm not gonna question this. Not gonna question it at all. Alright, so, um, gonna head up to the door that needs said key, which is up yonder way. And it should pretty much be as basic as putting the key in the door, unless some kind of monstrous cannibal from the deepest pits of hell comes out to halt my steps by, you know, well, more or less of, um, kills me, for lack of better words. Come on, don't, don't roll away from me like that. It, it, where, where, oh, okay, you're just clipping through the wall over there. All right, nothing to worry about. Oh, oh crap! Uh, I just realized I've been recording this for quite a while, guys. And as much as you guys would like to see the epic conclusion in parts to come for this custom story, I have to stop it right around hero. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, keep your uh, keep your pants on for part seven.